I go to a lot of places, especially in the USA, but um, it's a conglomeration of the Midwest, where I'm from, Chicago, Milwaukee, and living out here so long, they sort of get crossed over. So then it becomes its own sort of reality. I just had nine months off. Um, going back and forth between here and the Midwest. I did a lot of watercolors. I did about 40 of them in the last month and a half I was there. And I've been working all along. I got very much artwork done in nine months because that's what I first started doing since I was a squirt. And uh, I did it all along, so I never changed. I'm still like a six-year-old. It drives people crazy. Going back there in the summer, it's kind of like Dickens finding a ghost of Christmas past, but I found it in the summer's past. It was quite amazing, and it's really stimulated my painting. This is a, a really great thing to do in life. And I think I made up my mind before I was born I was going to do this, and now they're going to have to drag me kicking and screaming because I don't play along doing anything else. I refuse to give up my crayons. I've studied painting a lot, so I can't pick out any one favorite painter. But there is a, a whole line of them. But I think the most recent one, fortunately enough, lived in Healdsburg. His name was Richard Diebenkorn, who I learned about in college. And for some reason, I ended up here seeing a lot of his paintings, which was a great deal. I think that uh, he was probably one of the more important painters. And I just like to look at his work and see if I can grab anything from it and make something new out of it. I work in a studio. And I usually work from my invention or my head because I've looked at things so long now that when I look at a photograph or try to go out and I, it's more fun doing it this way because you kind of get to know how things look after a while. It's more fun making up your own world instead of the one out there.